that for an advisor, a financial advisor like myself here at One Capital Management, working with thousands of clients and being blessed to do so for over two decades now as a firm, me personally, nearly two decades, I think it's important to talk about this because I think the notion since Roth, you know, came around 25 years ago, right? Which I talk about heavily on our show, as you well know, that it's important to note that just because you think you're gonna pay higher taxes in retirement doesn't necessarily mean you are. But I will say this, by and large, I do see that most of our clients tend to pay more in retirement simply because of things like Social Security, required minimum distributions, as I mentioned, you know, things like taking income from their tax deferred investments like IRAs or 401ks. And that's if they don't do what I call the bracket game. And we'll talk about that later. But if the if the tax deferred investments, things like your IRAs, have significant value, combining the RMDs with your Social Security, which happens, you know, in your 70s, for example, can result in what we've called and I've shared many times and many people out there have called this tax torpedo. Now this term tax torpedo refers to the stacking of ordinary income tax and Social Security tax so that the additional distributions from your IRA could be taxed as much as the highest rate possible. Now I don't know about you, but I'm not a huge fan of paying more taxes than I'm required to pay. So I think it's important to talk about these. And if you're likely going to find yourself paying higher taxes in the future, I got some great things I want to talk to you about today that you can talk with your CPA about for your specific situation, because you can reduce your income to pay less tax.